Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. I am Dr. Rishabh Jain and in this video I want to discuss with you about the analysis of NEET PG 2023 that happened on 5th March that is this Sunday and what is the way forward for the upcoming May INI CT that is to happen on May 7th. So in this video we'll discuss about what I got feedback from various students, how was the paper, what are the takeaways and what are the two month strategy that you can make for your upcoming INICT. So just hang on with me for this video. Just a brief introduction about me before we get on to this video. I'm a 2012 batch AIMS student from AIMS New Delhi and back in my PG entrance exams, I secured a rank 4 in AIMS PG and a rank 11 in PGI Chandigarh and I subsequently did my MD in Radiology from PGI and I'm currently a senior resident in Radiology at AIMS New Delhi. So let's just get on with the video. So the main feedback that I got from a lot of students was that the overall paper was sort of easy to moderate range there were equal number, there were more easy questions there were definitely some moderate questions and hard questions but overall what students told me that it was a moderate level difficulty paper and the paper had a lot of confusing options within it so there were they had this dilemma of choosing which of the options is correct which of the options is incorrect and a lot of students said that they they made silly silly mistakes because the paper wasn't so tough the paper wasn't so trick, so uh, tough, hard in general, but the options were very tricky. Another point, uh, a lot of students have told me on Insta, on other people's stories that a lot of, lot of, lot of repeat topics uh, did come, be it cephalohematoma, be it EDH versus FDH, be it hematology key questions, and be it lysosomal, uh, lysosomal storage diseases. And we have been telling you again and again and again that your previous year topics are the ones which will be asked in your exams. They will form 70% of your question paper. So if let's say there are 200 questions, approximately 75 to 80% of those questions will be from your previous year topics. And hence, those are the must must know topics that you cannot afford to go to get wrong, right? Uh, a lot of students did tell me that they didn't get the time to revise. The paper just got over. Uh, at the nick of the time and yes there were a lot of clinical questions so around three four line ke there were questions and most of the clinical questions for example in medicine surgery were asking what is the next best step what is what will be the next line of management for example there was a question in which a whole scenario of SH was given and in the question itself uh, the question examiner had asked had told that it is an SH patient and then he had asked about the management what will be the initial management of choice and hence a lot of students did mark it wrong and the answer was initial, I was actually that the CT angio will be uh, performed in that case because his PP was around 160 that was what that's what students have told me and in SH patients you tend to have tend to keep a higher BP you don't give nemotipine to lower down the BP nemotipine is given in a later stage when there is a vasospasm nemotipine is mainly given to treat vasospasm so answer in that question was CT angio is the next best step Right, so a lot of students have gotten this uh, mistake, this question wrong, and this actually tells that the, slowly and slowly and slowly the questions are moving towards the pattern of next. I think that's how the questions in next would be. They would more focus on the next line of management. What will be the next step of management? Would be what will be the next investigation of choice? And I think that is something that you should take uh, carry on forward from this exam. Another very important uh, point I want to make out that previous year questions were definitely, definitely repeated. For example, there was a question on radio sensitivity, which is a direct repeat. There, is a, there was a GCT of ulna. I think GCT has become one of the most favorite bone tumors of the examiner. If you don't ask GCT to add the question. So you don't have to do There was again a question on FDH versus EDH and the basic concept that FTH crosses the suture and EDH does not was asked. So definitely 70 to 80% were uh, based on previous year topics. And I think that is something that you should be thorough even for INICT. Now, what is the way forward? So it does not matter how your exam is. If it's good, then good for you. If it's not good, then I'm saying it is better that you gave this neat exam because INI CT is just two months away and I think two months is the very sweet time for you to revise and get a very good rank in INI CT. Believe me, 
टू मंथ्स इज सफिशियंट टाइम टू प्रिपेयर फॉर इट इफ यू हैव रेड समथिंग एंड देर आर ओनली थ्री प्रिंसिपल्स एज फार एज आई एन आई सी टी इज कंसर्न एंड आई हैव टोल्ड दिस इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो एज वेल एंड आई रीट रेट इट नाउ सो फर्स्ट इज प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन आई एन आई सी टी लाइक नीट पी जी फोकस इज ऑन प्रीवियस इयर टॉपिक्स स्पेशली आई हैव डन अ रिकॉल वीडियो अबाउट द नीट पी जी टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी थ्री दैट हैपेंड जस्ट टू डेज बैक दैट इज ऑन मार्च फिफ्थ यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक ऑन एल एन नेक्स्ट सो आई डेड अ रिकॉल वीडियो विद एल एन नेक्स्ट इन विच आई डिस्कस द रेडियोलॉजी सेक्शन ऑफ द नीट पी जी आई लिंक दैट डिस्क्रिप्शन ऑफ द वीडियो इन माई डिस्क्रिप्शन यू कैन चेक दैट बट प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन आर अ मस्ट 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 फॉर आई एन आई सी टी एंड आई वुड सजेस्ट यू टू प्रैक्टिस प्रीवियस इयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ बोथ आई एन आई एज वेल एज नीट पी जी फॉर आई एन आई सी टी बिकॉज द क्वेश्चन बैंक आई थिंक इज ऑलमोस्ट द सेम बिकॉज द सेम टीम इज मेकिंग इट नाउ सम हाउ द सेकेंड इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट एज फार एज आई एन आई सी टी इज कंसर्न इज इट इज डेफिनेटली डेफिनेटली मोर फोकस्ड मोर हेवीली बायस टूवर्ड्स फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड प्रॉप इट विल फॉर्म यू सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द पेपर so you can not afford to miss the first and second prof if you don't have time so let's say if you are someone who's just starting your preparations now i'm sure that you would try to focus on medicine surgery peds gynae maybe some minors more but i would suggest you to focus more on first and second prof you cannot afford to leave biochemistry anatomy pharma micro pathology you cannot 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 afford to leave these subjects if you can if you have like one month time to spare and you haven't read these subjects please do okay it will definitely improve your rank if you want a concise resource i always endorse first aid because i think it is one of the best books that is written for biochemistry micro the hands down i think first aid will cover each and every question of yours in ni ct for biochem and micro so i can take a guarantee pharma path a uh, physio might would need some annotation based on previous year topics you can read your standard textbook you can read your coaching notes you can re, uh, read the videos and make notes in the first aid for these subjects but i think for biochemistry and micro they're sort of complete in first aid so you can have a look if you haven't yet done that third important thing that you should have you should follow in these two months is a revision strategy all right so if you are someone who hasn't started ini preparation at all i have made a two month strategy video for you you can find it in my channel i have told you which all resources to uh, follow which all subjects to focus on in these two months uh, and based on based on it i have also told you a revision strategy so the basic idea if you are someone who hasn't started till now is to complete your first reading by april 15 so you have around 40 days from now till april 15 try to finish first and second year subjects minors except ent of tha and peds gynae psm try to finish at least these by march 15 and then your second revision can go till april sorry april 15 your second revision can go till april 28 and the last 10 day revision which i focus again and again and again is a game changer for you if you are someone who has already finished the first reading and who was prepared for this ini uh, neat pg on 5th march it is a very good time for you to revise everything so for you guys i think till april 15 or april 20 you should again finish your revision of the whole syllabus along with giving gts from april 20 to march to may 7 just revise your theory don't focus so much on gts is my personal opinion lot of people would disagree on it but i believe that in last 10 days giving gts does not really help you it just builds on to your anxiety okay so uh, do previous year questions focus on first and second year practice pyqs and revision revision and revision so i hope this video was helpful to you uh, all the best for your upcoming ini ct if you have any queries you can dm me on instagram or twitter i reply there readily okay so all the best and for kiana